just wait. I'll tell you when to stop. V-shaped valleys and interlocking spurs. V-shaped valleys are an elongated lowland between ranges of mountains, hills or other uplands, often having a river or stream running along the bottom. Interlocking spurs are the outcrops of land along the river course in a valley. The river course will follow the path of least resistance, examples fewest obstructions. For this reason, the river will follow a meandering course between the interlocking spurs as it kind of laterally erode them. As a result of the potential, potential energy, as well as its kinetic energy, the river cuts vertically into channel. This creates initially a deepened channel as a result of hydraulic action and abrasion. Solution may also be present if the river cuts down to the bedrock layer. Due to surface runoff, soil creep and other mass movements, the valley sides become more gentle. Weathering processes may also aid this breaking down of the valley side. Rivers will always choose to take the most efficient route downslope. If the river flow encounters an obstacle of resistance, an example some densely rooted soil, it will change directions and follow flow around that obstacle. In doing so, it preserves energy and takes the most efficient route. These changes in direction are the birth of hillside spurs. As the river cuts deeper, its valleys become more pronounced and recognisable. It is normal for a river to make sub subtle changes in directions repeated repeatedly in its flow down slope. In doing so, interlocking spurs form. An example of this is the Upper Nidderdale in Yorkshire. Um, this is used for hiking, walking, agriculture of animals.